What's up guys, it's Keating and today I'm bringing you a brand new video. We're going to be talking about Call of Duty World War 2. Today was the official trailer release and the worldwide reveal for the game. So I'm super excited to talk about it and uh, before we jump into the actual video, I'm going to go ahead and show the trailer on this video for the people that haven't seen it already. However, if you are on this video, I'm sure you've seen it already. But here we go, we're going to jump right into the trailer. This day have set upon a mighty endeavor. Souls will be shaken with the violences of war in this hour of great sacrifice. We shall prevail. Get your head down and keep moving! We are all that separates the world from darkness. The enemy is ruthless. We cannot. We must not fail. Duty first. Perez! Won't be enough for you! We executed the mission. Get me the fuck out of here. How many? We had orders! Get to cover! Lieutenant, tell them what we're all about. No mission too difficult. No sacrifice too great. Welcome to the bloody first. You're a long way from Texas for him, boy. Pre-order now and get access to the private beta. Okay, so now if that wasn't exciting enough, uh, they're going to be coming out with a beta. And now... It's going to be coming out sooner than later. Uh, a lot of people think it's going to be late August or something, but I have heard from Intel that it will be released next month. So I'm super excited for the beta. Um, if you go and pre-order the game, you get a code, and you can use that, as always, to unlock the beta and play. And like I said, that will be next month. I, I don't know any specific dates or anything, but I've heard through the grapevine that it'll be at the, at, at the beginning or end of next month. So I'm super excited for it, and I'm really looking forward to the beta uh, to provide more gameplay for you guys. So let's jump into it, and we'll talk about a little bit, a little bit about the game. During the live stream, they didn't give us much information. They really just showed the trailer and talked about it. And uh, there's not really much more information I can give you, but I definitely want to talk talk about the game a little bit in this video. And, um, you know, I, I really want to hear everybody's opinion on the game and what they think it's going to be like um, and stuff like that. So um, first things first, like I said, the beta. Um, that's going to be super exciting to play. Now, obviously, as always, it's going to be released on PlayStation first. PlayStation should have it for about a week, and then they're going to jump over and release it for Xbox. Um, and, and usually if you're on PlayStation, they'll release it for two weeks, as opposed to Xbox, only one week. Myself, I have two consoles. I have both PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, so I'm in luck. I will be able to play on both systems, and I'm pretty, pretty sure I should get like three weeks out of the beta. Um, give or take. So it really depends how long they release it. If it's the same uh, beta as always, you know, they usually do it for a week on one console and a week on the other. So we'll see how it goes and um, we'll go from there. Um, and jumping further into the video, I want to talk about a brand new thing they're releasing. It's called Headquarters. Now it looks like a like a, a pre-game lobby in a way almost. They, they gave absolutely no information on it. They gave maybe a five second clip. And um, uh, moving into that, obviously max, max level is going to be level 55. They didn't release any how many prestiges they're going to be. They didn't talk about multiplayer at all. So um, uh, through the headquarters preview that they showed, it looks like the level caps would be 55, which is, you know, usually accurate. And, and that's how it usually is for most Call of Duty. So 
Um, that's a little information at Intel right there as well. Um, but this headquarters lobby looks very interesting. I really don't know what it is, so I don't want to give you guys false information, but I'm definitely excited for it. It looks very interesting. It almost looks like a place to either show off all of the stuff you have, all your accolades, all your camos and stuff, as well as I heard it might be a, a lobby where you can trade your camos and, and stuff like that. So I'm really excited for that. I want more information. They will be releasing more information um, during E3 in June. So I'm super excited to hear more about it. Um, as far as multiplayer, like I said, they didn't release much information regarding multiplayer. So we're, we kind of hit a, a wall right there. They only really showed stuff about um, the campaign, which looks phenomenal as it is. However, the only thing they did release for multiplayer was um, they showed four weapons that are going to be in it, um, and I'm really excited for that as well. They look like classic World War II weapons, and um, uh, I'm just overall, I'm very excited. Um, I, I'm just so emotional that it is back to boots on the ground, and um, you know, I, I playing Call of Duty, I grew up um, back in the day playing games like that, you know, Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 3. Um, original games like that, World at War. So it, it, I'm so happy that it's back to boots on the ground. Um, and, I, and I know a lot of people, I was scrolling through Twitter, and I see a lot of people talking about it, how they're very excited for boots on the ground. So first things first, that's the most important key, that boots on the ground is back. Um, they're going back to their original roots of Call of Duty, which is absolutely awesome. I feel like that's what everyone wanted for a long time now. We had, what, three years of jetpacking, um, uh, so, you know, I'm very excited to see where it takes us. Um, I'm hoping they don't stop at World War II. I'm hoping they keep it on boots on the ground for quite a few series. You know, like I said, they gave us three years worth of jetpacks. Um, I'm really hoping they give us three years of boots on the ground. You know, that would be awesome for us. So um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all the intel I have. And like I said, guys, this was going to be a super short video just talking briefly about uh, the reveal that happened today. The reveal was only about 40 minutes of live stream, and they did a post show for like 12 minutes or something like that. Uh, but they didn't give us a lot of information. It was, it was more of like a, a tease in a way. Um, but like I said, they will be releasing a lot more information during E3 in June. Um, so I might do another update video um, it just depends on how much information they show us. But like I said, guys, the most important uh, thing right now is there's going to be a beta. I heard through the grapevine that it's going to be next month. Like I said, I don't know any dates at all. I don't know if it's the beginning or the end or what. I don't know if it's going to be in the beginning of June or the end of May. I really don't know. Um, I will release on Twitter or I put it in the description once I, I know more information about it. Um, um, and, and just before we do... And this video, there are currently two types of pre-orders you can get. You can get the regular edition, obviously. You should be able to put $5 down. Um, most GameStop stores in, you didn't, in the United States, you're able to put $5 down right now. Um, I just pre-ordered the game, and I put $25 down on the Pro Series edition, which has, uh, I have the paper in front of me, it has the season pass and a couple other um, cool features. They haven't released a collector's edition yet, which I'm really excited for. Um, I know for Black Ops 3, they had the Juggernaug fridge and stuff like that. So I'm really hoping they come out with something cool for the collector's edition because I'll definitely upgrade it if it's worth it. Um, but the pro edition at GameStop for Call of Duty World War II is $100. And like I said, it comes with the season pass, uh, the beta code, and a couple other things that it, it, it doesn't give us more information on. But... Um, that's going to do it for the video, guys. I really like to hear everyone's opinions. Um, so if you like the game or you're, you're not excited for the game, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I'd like to talk about it. I, you know, I'm very excited for it. So, um, yeah, I want to hear everyone's opinion on it. And uh, that's going to do it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys on the next one.